Hey, what's happening guys? Coach Zach back again for another video. We're so pumped to start our Super Series games this Thursday at Eden Prairie. So we'll see you guys on Thursday night. What I want to cover here, a few things. We're going to be talking about our D zone, talk a little bit about the neutral zone, and then finally what we do in the offensive zone. So here it goes. Let's check out the D zone coverage first. So we're starting off with face-offs. This will be our goalie here. So this will be Vince or Leif right here. Say it's a face-off right here. Right, pretty simple, we have a center taking the draw. That's pretty obvious. We're always gonna have a D on each hash mark, okay? So Ds are on each hash mark. That's how we're gonna line up, all right? And then we're gonna have our right wing line up inside the D and our left wing line up outside the D, okay? Very simple. On the draw, they're gonna have guys probably just like this. Maybe this guy might be over further. So you can see responsibilities here. Center, your job is to take the center. D, your job is to take this forward. D, your job is to take this forward. Left wing, you're going straight out to their D. And right wing, you'd be going straight out to that D. You can see if this center wins the draw back, this wing is coming right through that shooting lane. If they go D to D, this wing is going right through the shooting lane. This wing is intercepting that pass out. All right, we have a D locked right there with that forward. Center, make sure you stay with your center. Do not, do not, centers do not go out this way because then that, that forward will go right to the net. We'd have an odd man situation in front of the net. So center, lock up your man. Stay on that defensive side of that center, D, Make sure you stay on the inside of this guy to lock him up. So, so now we're going to go into our D zone coverage, in zone, D zone coverage. One of the most important things. Puck's in our end. Okay, you can see this is the left side over here, left side, right side. So Puck's in the left corner. Our left D is going to be that first level of protection. Our right D is going to be in front of the net, right off this strong side post. Right? We're going to have a center also down low. Think about centers as our second layer of protection. Right? We're going to have a left wing right here and a right wing in the slot. They would have guys probably lined up something like this. They'd probably have a couple guys on the puck, maybe a guy in front of the net, maybe a guy down low, maybe a guy up high. They're the X's. We're left wing center, or excuse me, lefty center, right D, right wing left wing. So what we're doing here, center and D are always going to be down low. So the center and D are always going to be down low. The wings are either uh, on the half wall or the slot, pretty much like dot or slot, dot or slot, dot or slot. Puck goes over to the other side. This right D is going to be that first layer of, of, of protection right there. Our left D is gonna go right to the front of the net, so the right D goes, slides over. Left D is gonna go right to the front of the net. That center is gonna chase that puck. The center's always hounding the puck down low, all right? Our right wing slides over here, and our left wing slides over here. So remember, wings are always slot or dot, slot or dot, slot or dot, because then if this D gets control of the puck, we can hit that breakout right here, okay? Very simple. One of the things we're going to be doing now off the breakout, guys, is if we can get this D to get the puck to this wing right here, that wing gets the puck, right? This, this D is going to probably pinch on him. We're going to really work on that chip and have that other wing chase. So D to wing, you can either hit the center or hit the wing there, but most likely what's going to happen well is you can lug this puck and you can beat this guy wide, chip it, Go, go to the races. We have a fast team. We've realized after this one practice. So we really want to get this good pass going on right here. Take ice, chip it, and we'll win that race. Make those D turn around for that puck. Finally, we're going to be talking about the neutral zone and the offensive zone. Neutral zone. Say we have a D right there. We have a D over here. We have wing, you know, center helping out here, and a wing. What tends to happen is if the puck is right here, guys, we don't, we, we don't want this D just to force it into this area here, all right? This is where all the congestion is. This is where all the trouble is. Or if you're a wing right here and you have the puck, we don't want to just chip it because they have a D right there and they're going to get it. We want to possess the puck. Puck possession is the name of our game, possess the puck. 
So this wing, let's go back. Let's go back. Think about where they, they want the putt to go. They probably want the putt to go towards us. Let's have us want the putt to go towards us. Wing back to the D. Now look at this, guys. Look at all this ice that's open here. We go back to the D. Now we go D to D. Make sure that we're back. We don't want to be across from each other because that pass could be intercepted. We want to be back. So we go wing back to D, D to D. This D can take ice and sprint. This wing's going to open up to this space, and we have all this space on the side of the ice to work. So I always go back, over, up. You're going to hear that a lot, guys, from the bench. Back, over, and up. Finally, guys, the offensive zone. You can see how important it is. First, D zone face-offs, then D zone coverage, then neutral zone. Finally, we worry about offense. Offensive, guys, offensively, we want to attack and allow you guys to be creative. What's going to tend to happen is the pucks are going to be over in the offensive zone corners, okay? In this situation, we always want to have a guy on the puck, and where do we say the second guy is? The second guy, one is always on the puck, two is always going to be below the puck, below the net, below the goal line. Number two and three is going to be high. We'll have a D here and a D here. So whenever that puck goes, say the puck's on number one right here. We have options. We're going to go low with it, low with it, go low with it. That's going to suck guys down. We can go behind and then boom, hit three, coming down the slot like we did in practice. We can also, all right, we can also, pucks in this area right here, one is on the puck, two is below the puck. We can also go here and we can attack the net. What we really love to do is go low with it, two skates it to the other side, D's slide over, we go up, we go over, we walk down Broadway, we have our forwards crash in the net, and we get a shot with three forwards taking away the goalie's eyes, looking for the scraps. So the way to describe that play, again, similar to the neutral zone, guys, is down, over, up. Down, over, up, D to D, rip it, or find guys, Back door, either direction, guys. So just think, we always go down with the puck. We do not want to turn the puck over in these areas here. We want to get that puck low to create offense. Down, over, up. Down, over, up. And we screen the goalie. We take away their eyes. And we cash in on those rebounds that will create offensively. So there you have it, guys. Overall, we went over D-zone face-offs. Very important. We went over D-zone coverage talking about our different layers of protection on the net. We went over our neutral zone, back, over, up. And we went over our offensive zone ideas, down, over, and up. Looking forward to seeing you guys on Thursday night.